Good morning, friends. Now I am going to interview Mr. Kartikeyan sir, who is working as a lecturer in KCT Business School. He is going to share his experience about the organization. He is an ex ex entrepreneur. Good morning, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, say about your uh, education, sir. My first graduation, post graduation is my MCom, and uh, immediately after my education, first post graduation, I have started my own industry. Sir, you haven't started an organization. Yeah. Uh, who inspired to start your organization, sir? Who has been inspired to start your organization? So, 1990s uh, was full and full uh, period of employment. So, uh, like the period you enjoy now, it is not uh, uh, the problem of uh, uh, want, uh, wanting of employees, but uh, there is there uh, there were no pro job opportunities as of uh, as I, I was concerned with. I had to take either two choices. One is go, one is going for the employment, and one is going for the uh, business opportunity. My father uh, just told to go for the second one. So, his uh, as per his advice, I, cho I chose uh, I chose to uh, become an entrepreneur. What kind of organization is it? It was a, a small scale enterprises enterprise. Uh, I, I just uh, it was a coconut fiber a coir fiber manufacturing industry which invited around 5 lakhs uh, capital, which is 5 lakhs capital, uh, which included both the fixed investment as well as for the working capital. Have you got a uh, loan from any bank? Yes, of course, I got the loan from uh, Indian Bank under the uh, uh, noble scheme called NIDA, New Entrepreneur Development Agency, where the loan was provided by the Indian Bank without any security. So at what age you have been started? 23. So you've been an entrepreneur? Uh, everybody says so. <laughs> So you, uh, as being a young entrepreneur, you have been f uh, facing lots of obstacles. Can you share about uh, what, uh, what kind First of obstacles? First of all, uh, even uh, the age was a uh, great villain for me on those days. My competitors, my neighboring coir fiber manufacturers was making a mockery at me. So at this age, you cannot do do all these things. Likewise, things happened also. So there's managing a big clay big labor supervisor who is around 60 years of age, 50 years of age, I found it very difficult. And right across, I am from a family uh, who has been from an educated background and uh, it was a compulsion for me to manage the uneducated uh, labor. What kind of obstacles you have been faced? So my first ob obstacle in my uh, business life was my age. I was uh, so in to manage all the hardship during that age. So, uh, right from the college, the transition was directly to your hardship uh, life. So, that was a great obstacle in my age. Second thing is managing the labor it was a major obstacle because at the age of 23, I found it very difficult to manage a labor uh, who is aged about 50 or 60 or is who, who is ruthless, who is a ruffian. So, all the major problem which I faced from the industry is that labor. It's not only the managing the labor, it is also the procurement of the labor. So, due to the not planning or organization, it is also one of the reasons? No, it is not uh, because of the planning, uh, but it is the wrong choice of location of the unit. I was not a native of Pallachi, I was a native of Coimbatore. So, whomsoever saw me as only as an alien and uh, uh, not as a native, uh, uh, native man from Pallachi. So, this was a great debacle for me. So share some experience about your organization. Yeah. So uh, managing the organization is not going to be an easy, uh, easy cup of tea for you, right? Or rather, rather for anybody. Especially it was so it was very difficult as a first generation entrepreneur. Uh, my father was a retired uh, government officer, and I was a person who was being managing directly from the level front, right from the procurement of raw materials to the uh, uh, dispatching and the price negotiation of the final products was a problem for me okay so since because as an ex inexperienced entrepreneur many persons are exploited me in many circumstances right from the count of the coconut us to the uh, rupee uh, rupee fixation of the final output okay uh, so this was the uh, major obstacle uh, and because I am very confident now if, if I am going to enter into the same industry or uh, if anybody approaches me for any advice to enter in the industry, I can just give you the uh, uh, um, a pinnacle of uh, planning premises to them because of the experiences. See, uh, 
the and main obstacle was that uh, paucity of funds i didn't plan my funds properly that is because i was uh, in my in my cash flow statement which was being presented to the bankers uh, i was projecting a constant and a continuous supply of raw materials throughout the year but uh, in practice this was not feasible because uh, uh, yearly uh, tw uh, th uh, twice or thrice i was i should be able to compromise with the low quality of the raw material this was the first one number 2 so since because the labor force comes in group uh, from the native uh, uh, hamlet nearby so if at all if there is an a celebration in one house or any condolence in the house definitely uh, they will be bunking in the mass so uh, each and every day starting the production on the night shift will be a big question mark for me so this was a second problem i faced third problem which i faced from the mandatory and statutory government officials who visit in a uh, during untime in an untimely manner and just they, they used to blackmail uh, blackmail us and just get 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees which is going to be a profit of that one load so this has this was happening very frequently especially during the festival seasons number 4 uh, at at my uh, during my 3 years of tenure uh, uh, two accidents happened and the expenditure which i spent towards the treatment of the two laborers was quite hectic enough to eat away my all my profits and accumulated profits and fourth one is or above all it, it it was my inexperience on that field so nobody was there to guide me rather i uh, rather i was not put under with anybody else to run such a factory so what is the advice of uh, advice for um, advice of me to the young entrepreneurs unless otherwise other unless otherwise if you don't know the business and you know the business profile please do not build in that okay and in that manner so those who are in the family business take up the family business right away because they have the opportunity and they can enjoy the uh, uh, hereditary strengths and opportunities uh, what are what is father and what their grandfathers were possessing and the third one is have the guts even though initially if there is going to be any pitfalls if you are going to sustain and persist success is not far away okay thank you thank you so much for your sharing your experience